KT Chairman Isok Che, who is currently under investigation by prosecutors for suspicions of breach of trust, declared his resignation to the board of directors. 배임 혐의로 검찰 수사를 받아온 이석채 KT 회장이 어제 이사회에 사의를 표명했습니다. Korea's current account surplus, the broadest measure of cross-border trade, is expected to surpass that of Japan this year for the first time. 올해 한국의 경상수지 흑자폭이 수출대국 일본을 처음으로 앞지를 것으로 보입니다. Drivers of commercial use passenger vehicles, including taxis and buses, may not smoke while they are behind the wheel, even if there are no passengers. 앞으로는 버스와 택시 등 사업용 여객 자동차에 승객이 없을 때에도 운전자들의 차량 내 흡연이 금지됩니다. The Seoul Metropolitan Government announced that special traffic measures, such as increasing the number of deployed subways or eliminating holidays for taxis, will be enacted for November 7th, when students take the college scholastic aptitude test. 서울시가 수능 시험일인 7일 오전 지하철 증편, 택시 부재 해제 등을 골자로 한 수험생 특별 교통 대책을 시행하기로 했습니다. The Samsung Lions won the 2013 Korean Series this past Friday, marking their third consecutive win. 지난 금요일에 있었던 2013년 프로야구 한국 시리즈 결승에서 삼성 라이온스가 승리하면서 3연패를 달성했습니다. Korea has formally joined the United States in the 1980 Hague Convention on the Civil Aspects of International Child Abduction, a treaty that seeks to return children who have been wrongfully removed or detained. The convention is the main recourse for parents who are trying to get their children back from other parents or family members who have taken them outside of their home country. By entering the treaty, Korea can now work in conjunction with the U.S. and 72 other nations in cases involving child abductions by invoking the convention. Germany and Brazil have submitted a draft resolution to the United Nations that demands an end to broad electronic surveillance. Although the draft resolution does not name names, it comes in the wake of allegations that the United States has been using electronic surveillance to eavesdrop on its allies, even going so far as to bugging German Chancellor Angela Merkel's mobile phone. While the resolution would not actually carry any legal weight, it would provide moral and political backing to the concerns regarding digital spying and privacy.